Hi Scorpio. So um, we are going to look at how your person feels about you. Okay? So we are covering all three deacons of Scorpio here. Every Scorpio right from October the 23rd up to about November the 22nd. So we're covering all three deacons. If it doesn't jive perfectly, that's why. All right. All right. First, I'm going to ask what your person is going through up here that might not have anything to do with you. It may or it may not, because it may help you to understand their feelings. What is going on with Scorpio's person? All right. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. So, Scorpio... You may be involved with someone who you know uh, or you've just recently accused them of being involved with somebody else because right after that, um, I'm getting, well, this is Mars and Leo, but this is someone who is being very defensive about this. Um, now, the other thing is this could be, um, what could be going on is that your person is reunifying with you or somebody else and they're being defensive about it. Okay, we're going to get one more card for what's going on with your person. Okay, what is going on with Scorpio's special person? The person that Scorpio is most interested Yeah, okay, so they're giving to the wrong person. All right, so if you're if Scorpio, if your person, no matter what astrological sign they are, um, and what I'm seeing here is Cancer, Leo, Taurus. Um, it, so this could, or this could be any earth sign, really, any fire sign any water sign, uh, water sign, but generally that, I mean, this is Mercury and Cancer, this is Mars and Leo, um, that is Moon and Taurus. Um, it looks to me like someone is being defensive about the fact that they are giving to the wrong person, this beggar, I mean, generally the theme of this card is that this person has his money invested. This is why he's giving to the, to the beggar who looks uh, like they are the, the um, better bet. It's not true giving. All right, so I feel like what's going on, I'm speaking to Scorpios who's, who, who, whose special person, I believe, um, is not, possibly cheating or just having these third-party situations. So now we know which Scorpios we're talking to, all right? Um, I'm sorry that that's going on, and I know exactly how you feel. All right, so we're going to look at how they feel about you. All right, Scorpio, your special person is not necessarily the person that you're with. Um, it, it's just the person that you want to be with, that you may be with them. They're the person that you uh, love spiritually and deeply the most, okay? Hey, look at this. This is a good sign. At the bottom of the deck there, incredible that's one of your cards right there and that is the soulmate card um when i look at the bottom of the decks and i rarely do it um it's because i feel like it's important i do feel like no matter what is going on with your person they know that you are their soulmate all right um it's also maybe telling us that they want to get back together with you they want to give you something um, they want to combine. Uh, they know, they are aware that you, you are their soulmate. So um, uh, that's a really powerful card. Okay, it's called Sun in Scorpio, literally. All right, now, it also signifies the second deacon of Scorpio. Okay, um, so that would be, I think it's November the 2nd to the 11th. So if you are a second deacon Scorpio, that applies especially to you, all right? Very strong message there. How does Scorpio's person feel about them? How else do they feel? Okay, something flipped, and that's very important when it flips. Wow. Look, um, you are their wish, okay? Um, you may be a bit frustrated right now because um, this is the Nine of Cups. I, I believe, Scorpio, that what's going on here is that you're under this tablecloth. They know it. They're pretending they're happy without you, but really they want to move to the Ten of Cups. And there is a certain sadness about this guy. Um, 
he reminds me of the uh, Capricorn guy that sits on uh, in front of the city that he built alone, um, thinking that he's happy and has it all, but he doesn't. Because in building that city, he's left out the person that he was meant to be with. This person is almost doing the same thing, but they're going to lift up the tablecloth at some point because they feel that angst. Okay? So, no matter what was going on up there, if they are cheating or involved with somebody else, at least you know that this is how they feel. Um, I feel like getting, yeah, we'll get one more card from this deck, and then maybe one from Witch's Tarot and one from Thelema. How else, what does Scorpio need to know? How else are they feeling? I'm just going to go a little bit more in depth here. How is Scorpio a special person feeling about them? If nothing uh, jumps, okay, something has, oh, wow. Okay, Scorpio. Um, they want, they are restraining their emotions, all right? Um, they're holding back their emotions. They may want control over the whole relationship. Good luck to that person if they're dealing with a first deacon, Scorpio. Um, uh, if you were born between the... Uh, the 23rd of October right up to November 1st, you are the most powerful of all Scorpios. You will not be controlled by this person uh, unless it's another first deacon Scorpio. Even a first deacon Aries cannot control a first deacon Scorpio. So this could be causing the power struggle. Um, this could be causing the cheating that they can't get control over you. Um, this could also be someone who enjoys having control over two people. But uh, Scorpio is not going to let that go on for much longer. Um, for definitely First Deacon Scorpio, if they, well, I don't know. See, First Deacon Scorpio can play everybody's game better. So um, anyway, okay, let's get something from the Thelema deck. Um, so we're going to go a bit more in depth now and find out how else they're feeling. If you're conf Okay, so if Scorpio is confused about anything about their other person, can we get that question answered, please, Thelema? Please? What about how is Scorpio a special person feeling and thinking about Scorpio? That flipped. Beautiful. Scorpio, I can't. This is just beautiful. Um, this is the Six of Wands. Um, this could be them. Uh, it, it, it's either one of two things, Okay. They either want you to really notice them, okay, um, to uh, think that they're wonderful, to admire them, or uh, they want to acknowledge your relationship, or they may want you, Scorpio, to acknowledge them as as um, as yours, okay. Um, so it's it's one of those interpretations. The Six of Wands. It's also a card of victory. You've got two cards of victory there. Um, there could also be some conquest energy here I'm picking up on. Um, if you're a cross-watching here and you're interested in a Scorpio, you're never going to get there, bro, because Scorpio will not be controlled. Um, you go to war beside them, with them, never against. And I think if you're trying to control them, uh, you better revise your plan there. Okay? <laughs> All right, now let's get something from the Witch's Tarot. I've got to get something negative here because this, this is too good to be true. You're going to think that I'm cheating or something. All right, so which is tarot? How about let's ask for something. What I want to do here um, is anything that's on Scorpio's mind that needs clarification, um, please. Can we clarify that, please? Anything that needs clarification. If it doesn't jump, it's just not there, okay? Um, is there anything that we could clarify for Scorpio? about how their special person feels about them, please. Okay. okay. <laughs> Guess what, Scorpio? This is one of your cards. So knights are fixed and unmarried, which is great. Um, this is the Knight of Cups. This is one of your cards. This is a, a minor arcana card, a court card of Scorpio. Um, they want to make... Uh, they want to make their romantic intentions known. That's what I'm feeling about this card. They want to come in correctly, um, showing themselves, or, or they want this from you. Either or, it's pretty 
beautiful. Um, look, that's all the cards have to say. We got three from from the traditional deck, one from Thelema, and from one from which is Tarot. Um, to anyone who's cross watching, I always say Scorpio always wins, and it looks like they're really coming out on top here in love. So your person, although you may be stuck in some, they may be giving to the wrong person right now. You're the one. I mean, there's no question here that you're the one that they're focused on. So I don't know why that third party thing is going on. Um, let's just ask for some advice, all right? Um, let's ask for some advice from the traditional deck because I can interpret that deck a little bit better. Jeez, just look at this. I just, um, okay, so that could be the advice. Um, so this advice, just let me, can we clarify the Six of Wands as advice, please? Clarify the Six of Wands as advice, because it could be two completely different things. Can we clarify the Six of Wands as advice for Scorpio? Okay, so there's four cards that came out. I do believe they're all important. Could be complicated. Yeah, okay. So be patient with them, all right? Um, you may be single right now, but they know your worth. They do want to make a major offer to you. They want to make sure that the offer they make is fair. They may not be sure. Um, they may still be trying to figure out how you and um, how Scorpio and your special person. So they're trying to figure out how you guys are going to um, combine. You're going to combine beautifully because this is the ultimate alchemist here. All right. And that's a card of Sagittarius. That's a card of Libra all earth signs, and this is specifically Taurus, Taurus. Um, this is, I'm sorry, Virgo, this is Venus and Virgo, the, uh, this I feel is there because they know your worth, all right, so um, at, to clarify the six of wands, I think what this means um, is, <laughs> again, it's one of two things, it's either that they want you to acknowledge that you know their worth, um, and and uh, you know, and and uh, and that it can work, okay, and that uh, there may be two very di um, uh, different forces being combined here. There's straight up cold logic being tempered by this empathy, uh, by the solar energy in um, Madam Justice's, uh, Lady Justice's um, scales. Um, Either they want you to recognize their worth, or um, uh, or they want to tell you that they do recognize your worth. Even though you may be single right now, they are going to make you an offer. Um, it's going to be fair, but it has to be at a time when they are confident that this can work together. This is the angel of time. She never fails. All right? Um, Scorpio, that was beautiful. Very interesting. Let me know what to think.